Hello everyone and welcome back to Pixmux Tuts. Today I'm going to show you how to change your Windows power and sleep settings. Let's jump right into it. On your Windows computer in the bottom left hand side where it says type here to search, we're just going to type in power and choose power and sleep settings. On the right hand side, you'll see that there's several options that you can adjust. The first option is on battery power, turn off after. So that just means if you're not plugged in, it'll actually turn off the screen after X amount of minutes. It's good to keep this a little bit low if you want to save battery power. Next, you can change when plugged in. Turn off after. So this is the same setting, except for when it's plugged in, your battery's not going to drain. So this is more about not getting a screen burn in. So what screen burn in is, is if your screen is on for a long period of time, there's a chance that whatever image is on your screen will permanently be burnt into the LCD on the screen and will show up at all times, kind of faint. Now we'll step down to the sleep settings. The sleep settings allow the computer to just go to sleep and preserve all the resources while it's in sleep mode. You can adjust these settings on timer as well based on your battery or whether you're plugged in. There's also a selection on the left hand side that lets you choose battery. Now you can put battery saver on. You can read what it does here, but basically it shuts down all the services and programs that are running in the background in order to preserve your battery. You can also have it set to turn off after an X amount of battery usage. So if you use 80% and it's down to 20, it'll turn battery saver mode on automatically in order to preserve the battery. It's that easy to change your sleep settings and your power settings, as well as your battery settings on a Windows 10 PC. The options haven't changed much through versions of Windows, so you should be able to do the same thing on Windows 11 and Windows 8 and Windows 7, etc. I really appreciate you guys tuning in again. Until next time.